Microsoft's Windows 8.1 arrives with considerably less drama than Windows 8, and that is to be expected the changes are far less radical than they were for consumers who made the leap from Windows 7 to Windows 8, but the latest software promises to be a worthwhile update for anyone who bought a PC and or tablet with the Windows 8 operating system, and it represents a critical test for Microsoft as it attempts to satiate critics, address Windows 8 shortcomings, and ultimately improve the company's standing in both the tablet and more traditional PC businesses. The 8.1 update starts to arrive in the Windows Store at 7 a.m. Eastern Time Thursday, and will be rolled out globally over the next 24 hours, Microsoft says. Windows 8, 1 will be available on new devices and in standalone retail packaging on Friday, so what doth the upgrade bring? The newest version is more customizable than its predecessor, with more background colors, and more variable sizes for the live tiles that have come to define the Windows 8 experience. On computers and for that matter smartphones, perhaps the biggest change you'll notice is the return of a familiar start button, located in desktop mode in its customary location at the bottom left corner of the taskbar, it's not like you're completely going back to the future, clicking on the new start button, returns you to the default to leave us Windows 8 start environment, known as the modern UI with those colorful rectangular and square tiles, some with live data for such things as weather, stocks, email and so on. Microsoft in 8, 1 also lets you boot up your PC in the more traditional looking desktop environment if you prefer. Or stick with the default tile interface, Microsoft's better integrated SkyDrive cloud-based locker takes on a more prominent role in 8.1, and so does Bing Search. If while searching, say, for a performer such as Alicia Keys, you'll be able to stream some of her top tracks in their entirety for free, provided via Xbox Music. You'll also see pictures of the artist, her birth date and a link to her Wikipedia bio. Multitasking gets better to an 8.1, depending on the size of your computer screen, you can display up to four apps side by side, with the ability to alter the sizes of the windows that those apps appear in. The Windows Store where you'll find the new upgrade also gets a design makeover. Microsoft says there are now 110,000 apps in there, up from about 10,000 about a year ago. New and updated apps are also continually being delivered to the place, a list that includes Evernote, Facebook, Hulu Plus, Netflix, and Nook. It remains to be seen, of course, how consumers and critics take to the changes, aesthetically and future-wise. But if you already bought into the Windows 8 ecosystem, the 8.1 update is in the end a pretty big deal. The big news is that the start button is back at the desktop. In the lower left corner, yet incredibly, despite the wails of the masses, clicking it still doesn't open the start menu. Instead, it just takes you back to Tile World. Microsoft's logic, you're supposed to think of Tile World start screen as an expanded, Talibust version of the start menu. It's the same items, just spread across your screen, so clicking the start button does, in a way, take you to your start menu items. If you prefer the real start menu, you can still install Classic Menu or another free app that brings it back. In fact, if you turn on the new show the apps view automatically when I go to start checkbox, in, the taskbar and navigation pane of the control panel. Then clicking that start button opens a complete, full screen list of apps, rather than the full blown, space hungry start screen. It's not the old start menu, but it's a start. Furthermore, you no longer need some piece of shareware to make your PC start up to the desktop instead, of Tile World. There's a buried setting to do that too, you can now choose the same desktop picture for both Tile World and the desktop. There are still three different places to change settings on your computer, two in Tile World, plus the traditional control panel, but at least more of the control panel settings are now duplicated in the Tile World settings, panels, so you don't have another environment switch to change them, we should be grateful for these baby steps. Unfortunately, all of it is a giant exercise in rearranging crackers on plates on deck chairs on the Titanic. The fundamental problem with Windows 8 hasn't changed. You are still working in two operating systems at once. You are still leaping from one universe into another. The color schemes, fonts and layouts all change abruptly. 
and it still feels jarring. There are still too many duplicate programs and settings, one in each environment, and you still can never live entirely in one world or the other. The more you work with Windows 8, the more screamingly obvious the solution becomes, split it up. Offer regular Windows on regular computers. Offer Tile World on tablets. That way, everyone has to learn only one operating system. And each operating system is suited to its task. There's a reason Microsoft mostly ignored the traditional Windows desktop world in Windows 8.1. The company is betting that all computers will someday have touch screens. Maybe Microsoft actually believes that someday, the mouse, keyboard, menus and windows will go away. In that case, the lovely, fluid, vastly improved tile world will be all anybody needs. Unfortunately for that vision, reality seems to have other ideas.